Mike here for New Def Gaming, everyone. Welcome to Lost Vault. As you know, blindness is a spectrum, but I rate my videos on having no sight whatsoever. Also, by the way, the sounds you're hearing are from RPG Fantasy Work. You can even get quests, which is great. Quests are awesome. Line by line, word by word, character by character navigation, all work, including headings and vertical navigation. It is Lost Vault, a spectacular role-playing game for the blind and visually diverse. This game is awesome i am exclusively reviewing this game for ios i do not know if it's on android but a great idle rpg hi everybody mike here for new def gaming playing lost vault today is episode nine we're going to be doing a brief tutorial on how to use the raid submenu on the shelter tab so for all of you who don't know there is a way to engage in PvP, and I'm going to be walking you through this. This is going to be part one of my raid tutorial. That's because there are some more advanced features that don't unlock until I'm a much higher level. But I'm going to go over everything that you can do in the raid submenu up until level 25. Uh, in a future video, maybe part two maybe part three we'll see i will do maybe more information on this of course i am running out of content so mind you most of my content will be after i've played for a couple of months and i've actually got something new to show you all right first of all let's let you hear exactly where you can know exactly what your pvp activity has been selected survivor tab one of six go ahead and jump over to your survivor tab that's selected. tab one survivor. tab one of six then you're going to want to go to your journal items tab items T shelter tab items T items T shelter T two explore one tribe T one rank one rank tab six of six settings button okay let's try it selected survivor tab one of six all right i'm there vertical nav characters words lines survivor tab one of six attributes three up plus ten for three hour plus ten zero attack quest Attack other survivors. Quest. Journal. Button. All right. Once you find journal, there's going to be a clearly labeled button. Go ahead and double tap that. My resources. Cash. 50,314 bottle cap. 1,663. Right. Then you're going to hear your resources. Then you're going to want to go to line by line navigation. Speaking rate. Lines. Then you're going to want to swipe down. My resources. Cash. 50,000 bottle cap. 1,006. And then you're going to hit a clunk. So just swipe forward. Selected. Character. But cap C. H. Shelter upgraded. 18. All right. And then because when you. Illustrations. Night sky. Okay. Shelter upgraded. You can two finger tap to make voiceover quiet down. So what's going to happen is when you're line by line navigating, you're going to hit a hard stop because there is a little top constant menu, which is your resources. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to touch navigate to the top three quarters of your profile held phone and then you're going to get the whole menu of all of your different journal actions now your journal includes a lot of different actions so i'm going to let you hear it explore image activate explore image activate default shelter upgraded eight explore image activate De explore image activate explore image activate explore image activate Def shelter upgraded 18 46 April okay my shelter's image. been upgraded night sky Shelter upgraded, 18, 46, April 28th. And that's Swipe the down, day it happened, action, then and that's the time activate. it happened. Explore image, activate, PVP defend, win, 16. Oh, 59, I got a PVP defense and win. Adult, eyeglasses, All right. goggles, illustration, that's how it logo works. Order, PVP defend, win, 16, 59, April 28th. So it tells you the day that you were attacked. It doesn't tell you the player that I know of yet, but we're gonna experiment and if I get any new hints or tips, I'll throw a guide onto my Facebook page, which is New Dev Gaming, N E W. D E A T H, second word gaming, G A M I N G. Same as the channel, New Def Gaming. All right, let's find out what else I got. Explore image. Raid defend, win, 11. We got a raid April defend. Image. Ooh, Adult. cool. Art. Another raid Night defend. Sky. Shelter upgraded, nine. We got a shelter April upgrade. Image. Shelter upgraded, 21. We got another 19. shelter upgrade. Shelter upgraded, 13. Another one. 17. Shelter upgraded, 11, 40. April 27. And as you can hear, image. these are your journal Night items. Sky. Tool. Shelter upgraded, so you have 11, everything 40. being tracked April for you. PVP defend. Oh, I got Six. another 51. PVD. PVP image. Defense. Illustrations. Moon. PVP defend. Win. Got 17. another one there. 21. Another win. Shelter upgraded, 17. Got a shelter upgraded. Shelter upgraded. Shelter upgraded. Old logs old logs okay so there you go you can look through all of your current p 
PVP wins and defenses through this journal tab. Now, let's get over to the raid submenu in the shelter tab. Shelter, tab three of six. Double tap on shelter. shelter. You can finger navigate to it at the bottom of your phone. Now, once you're here, four finger tap top. My resources, cash, 50,000. You're gonna hear your resources. Fuel. Selected, shelter, but raids, one. Double button. tap when you hear raid after swiping to your right. Once you hear that da -da -da, and you've been switched to your raid screen, four finger tap top. My resources, cash, shelter, button, selected, raids, one, invasion, button. All right. Fortification, level 17 now, meters force. Fortification, fortification is your base defense. This is how you stop players from beating you. This is like a mini little game that you kind of play. It's like a side quest kind of thing. So I've been defeating a lot of people that have been attacking me. Okay, go to the next item. Show, button. You can go ahead and double tap that. My resources, cash, 50,000. You're going to hear your resources fuel. again. Words, lines, my resources, cash, fuel, food, 11,869. Shelter, button, cap S. Selected, invasion, button, selected, raid, resistance, seven. Selected, raids, one, but selected, raids, one. Fortification, provides base protection against raids without recruiting. All right, there we go. Let's find out what our resistance is your basic flat defense, and I guess. Current. Current. Provide for level seven. Fortification. Level seven. Close. Button. Invasion. Button. Level seven. Fortification. Provides base protection against raids with current. Next. So the current and next. Resistance. Seven. My resistance is seven. Resistance. Eight. And if I level up and I pay for it, I'll go up to eight. Obviously, the higher your resistance, the more chance you have of resisting enemy attacks. Resistance. Eight. Next level. Cash. 11,264. 11,000 cash. Fuel. One four zero five four six. One hundred forty-seven thousand food. Two eight one seven seven. Two hundred eighty-one thousand food. This is quite a substantial amount of investment. So yes, this game is something you have to really commit to for the long haul. If you really want to upgrade all these amazing buildings, you're really going to have to commit yourself to playing every day and really upgrading your shelter so you're pulling in the maximum amount of resources. So you want to. Pro tip number one: focus on increasing your fuel food and cash amount of resources coming in so do your dailies which means do your daily quests if you can by the way to the devs a uh, quick little reminder suggestion your quest menu is broken once you get stuck on pvp with other players you cannot unselect it so i don't know if that was done on purpose or it's an error but there is a bug with your quest menu you uh, could probably reset that. I've tried to reset it. I have been unable to do so. I've stopped short of uninstalling the app and seeing if that would fix it. I don't want to do that. So, yeah, just letting the devs know that your quest menu is a little bit busted. All right, getting back to what we're talking about here. So, that's your first thing to know. This is what it takes. Now, you want to keep upgrading your particular fuel, what, cash, base thing. You're, you're kind of like your Next level. Resistance level. Fuel. What, food. Time. 30,000. Time. 30,425. So these are very expensive. Zero seven meters 13s. Dim. Button. Uh, Zero seven mine's is almost done. Dim. Button. So Zero in, seven in another Dim. seven Button. minutes Zero seven meters and so many seconds, Survivor. Tab. Zero seven I am meters going to Dim. have Button. my... Uh, Zero seven. Survivor. Tab one of six. I'm going to have my base increase. My raid defense. My raid base. I'm trying to come up with an appropriate name. Okay. So there are a couple little things and that's going to be my suggestion number two to the devs if you can give us the kind of information of what upgrades what so if you upgrade your base i've found out anecdotally that that allows you to upgrade your zombie defense and your possibility of having a higher set of other buildings so it unlocks other buildings and higher capabilities of leveling them up I'd love a detailed roadmap that lets us know precisely when and why things are uploaded. It's always better to know exactly so that you can totally minimax and prepare. Because to me, Lost Vault is what gives me the most pleasure. Okay, what gives me the most pleasure in Lost Vault is the minimaxing, the preparation, the timing your resources and all that kind of stuff. Building yourself up, making yourself stronger. I love that. It's absolutely my favorite part of this game. All right, let's find out. We can't do anything because we're waiting for that upgrade to finish. So in order to get out of your sim, your little sub menus of your sub menu, you're going to four finger tap the top. My resources, cash. Swipe to your right. Fuel. Shelter, shelter, 
Selected. Invasion. Close. Button. You hit that close and you'll jump Minus out of that sub cash. menu. 50,314 fuel. Okay. Now that we've gotten that menu listened to, let's go here to the next menu. Raiders cam. Level 8 recruit raiders and raid other survivors. Sh show. Button. Raider. Show. But fortification. Level 705. That's your fortification. So call that like your base tools. fortification. Image. Show. But raiders cam. Level 8 raiders recruit raiders raiders and raiders is where you make Image. soldiers that protect raiders raiders your raiders camp. Raiders and, raid other survivors. Shelters. and it also four. raids other survivors. So it's a, we could use a little bit of clarification, but it's not impossible to understand this. Just make sure all your troops are 100%. So what it means is your troops die and you typically have to recruit more. It does cost you resources. Show button. Mutants lab. Left show. Button. I think we're out. Let's go ahead and Cash. click that show button. Fuel. Raiders cam. Recruit raiders and raid other survive current units. Four slash four. Okay, I have four. So when you hear four slash four, the first number, the first variable is the current. The second is your max. Always have your max. Current. Next. Raider strength. Eight. My raider strength is eight. Raider strength, nine. The next level, they'll go up to nine. Units count, four. The units count is important. The more you have, the better. Units count, five. Next level. All right, let's find out what it requires to go up to the next level. Cash, 16,089. 16K? Fuel, two, two, zero, nine, seven, five. Wow, that's a lot. 220,000 fuel? Food, four, four, one, nine, <gasps> Holy five, zero. cow, 441K, 441,000 food, good grief that's a lot all right so uh wow it's gonna take us a while before we can afford this time 19,555 uh 19 hours to upgrade that Bill, dim, button. all right we can't even upgrade it because we don't have the resources level of headquarter is too low oh okay now we just got information so that's awesome so my primary shelter tab which has your headquarters your like your factory stuff all your farm stuff your fuel depot all that so we need to increase our headquarters so again we're going to be focusing on our headquarters because i do want to increase these buildings okay four finger tap to get out My of that resources. shelter selected invasion close button okay so now you kind of understand that building upgrading that building is very important and it's very expensive let's go to our last part of our raid Raiders can. And there is going to be another part that I haven't unlocked yet. Show. But mutants lab. Level eight right. to protect Mutant the shelter labs. Now, mutants protect your, your shelter from raids. Let's show that. Show. Button. Okay. Once you double Mind tap resources. and show Cash. that. 50, Current units. Four slash four. I have four out of four. Same format as your soldiers. You want to have your max number of mutants. Current. Next. And every time you upgrade it, you're going to have more. So we have four out of four. We can go to five out of five if we want. Mind you, you have to pay individually for the mutants as well. Ghoul strength, eight. Ghoul strength is eight. Ghoul strength, nine. They'll go up to nine. Units count, four. Units count four, Units which count can go five. up to five. Next level. Next level is going to cost you. Cash, 15,264. 15K. Fuel, two, zero, nine, six, four, three. Two, zero, nine, 209 k Food. Four one nine two eight four six. one nine. That's a lot. 409, 419,000 food approximately and i am sure that our home like like our primary like base level is not high enough time 17,111 yeah 17 hours to do that Build, dim button level of headquarters is too low yeah our headquarters is not high enough level our hq hq is not high enough level let's go ahead and get out of this menu my resources cat shelter selected raids invasion close button all right so that's it my folks resources, that is our raid sub menu of the shelter and it's pretty simple you build soldiers you build mutants and oh i've got one more building to show you sorry about that um armory level five equipped armory. shelter troops with so you get armory at level 25 and armory is so fun and this is the most important part of of the tutorial today so armory you can equip your soldiers with your own equipment that you get from adventures let me let you check it out armory level five show button. let's go click that show so Money here's the armory cash. i'm going to go through each part of it fuel. equip the shelter troops with armory heading equip the shelter troops with spare gear to improve their power you equip your shelter crews well, let me let you hear that again. armory equip the shelter troops with spare gear to improve shelter their power. troops you equip your shelter troops with your armor whether it's your common uncommon rare or even epic gear so it's fantastic and you can even in my opinion gem them up and upgrade the armor so your troops are even more powerful this is an absolutely fantastic side game 
kind of like for this. This is a great downtime activity. I am extremely impressed with this part of the game. I think this is a huge selling point for this game. Now, I'd love if your troops had even more cool things they can equip, like magic, special rings, and other trinkets. I'm always on the listen out for new stuff. Okay, let me let you hear more of the parts of this particular submenu. Current. Equip armory. Head level five. Armory. Level close. But invasion. But close. Level five. Armory. Equip the shelter troops with current. Next. Okay, current and next. Units HP plus five percent. My units have five percent HP. That keeps going up as you increase the level of the armory. Units HP plus six percent. Six percent when I I pay for the upgrade. Units damage plus five percent. The damage of these units is 5%. Units damage, plus 6%. And it will go up to 6% at the next level. Equip. Here is your equipped item. So we can use a little bit of a heading on this one. So, but this is the things that you have equipped. So it's gonna be a one huge long menu, so. Uncommon common helmet, image. All right, now, if you double tap on this item, which I've equipped, you'll have a choice of items that you're allowed to equip. Items that you cannot equip, it will let you know at what level you can equip it. So I'm gonna double tap on my current helmet. Equip, uncommon hellfire scepter, Whoop. uncommon bandit gloves, common illusionist cake, uncommon common helmet, image. Double tap on that. My resources, cash, 50,314 fuel, 258,447 food, 11,869. Now, once you get done with your resource static menu, shelter button selected, raids one, but invasion close, but armory helmet heading. This is your armory helmet slot. Equip. This is what you have equipped. Uncommon common helmet. Image. I have an uncommon common helmet, which is very confusing. I pretty much feel we should just change it. If it's a common looking helmet, say it's common looking, or just give it a color blue, yellow orange pink it doesn't matter but when you say uncommon which is the rarity level and it's just called a common which is a description it can be a little bit confusing for the layman <laughs> and so so this is an uncommon rarity common type helmet now as you increase your armory's level you can put stronger and stronger equipment on your troops armor 246 plus plus zero all right and also you can hear the armor levels for everything and here's one big thing to be careful of whenever you equip your armory troops with your leftover equipment you lose it forever so please folks be careful don't give them anything you can't afford to waste okay so by this point you're pretty proficient with the game and you're not going to be making all those rookie mistakes like i did in the very beginning so just be careful give them only the things you have extra okay now, if you're not sure what that thing does, I do believe you can double tap it and listen to its stats. Intelligence 25, plus plus zero, armor 246, plus plus zero, armor 246, uncommon common helmet, image, uncommon common helmet, image, armor 246, plus plus zero. Uh, let me find out. Uh, Intelligence 25, yeah. plus plus zero. So you can swipe through it. It is perfectly designed, perfectly, fully accessible and functional and playable. So. They've made it so that you can swipe through everything on your armor so you know exactly what the comparison of it is. If you do have more helmets that are equipable, it will appear right after this item. But remember, the first item is the current item you have equipped. Level 25, plus plus zero. All right, and you're gonna hear the level of the item. Of course, folks, the higher the level of the item, the stronger it's like going to be. Survivor, tab one of six. All right, then when you hear that survivor, that means that you've left this particular menu. Of course, we could put a little clunk there if we wanted to so they know that they have to go back out. Okay, once you're done with this menu, four finger tap. Bottom of screen. My resources, cash, shelter, but selected, invasion, so shelter, my resources, my resources, cat, shelter, but selected, invasion, close, but hit that close button. My All resources, right, so that's cash, my helmet slot. Fuel. And now that you have an idea of how to kind of like check out these things let's hear all the other stuff i have equipped equip uncommon common helmet image that's my helmet slot common illusionist cape image that's my armor slot i have a uncommon illusionist what was uncommon, it? common illusionist cape image uncommon common helmet common illusionist cape. i have a image. common illusionist cape so by the way i can upgrade to an uncommon armor item there uncommon bandit gloves image this is my uncommon bandit gloves for my hands uncommon hellfire scepter image this is my weapon, Hellfire Sector, which many of you might recognize. It's a common weapon. You can keep upgrading your items here at the Armory, but just remember, you lose them forever once you donate it to your troops. Common Mage Pants, image. Okay, Common Mage Pants. I can upgrade this to Uncommon. 
Remember, it will let you know what level you can upgrade based on how high your armory is. If you want stronger equipment on your troops, you need to increase your armory level. It's going to be very expensive, but it's worth it. Uncommon Shepherd Boots. Image. Okay, that's my boots. It's Uncommon Shepherd Boots. Damage. 810. Heading. That's my damage. Now, that's probably based on the equipment that I'm using or equipped with. Armor. 1,682. Heading. That's my armor based on all of the armors of the equipment I have equipped. Now, folks, you could probably upgrade these armors in your workshop, but do it prior to donating it to your troops. Strength. Zero. Heading. This is my strength rating, zero. Agility, zero. Heading. My agility is zero. Intelligence, 25. Heading. That's my intelligence. Endurance, 120. Heading. My endurance. Luck, 22. Heading. My luck. Next level. Now, once you get to next, that's what it costs to upgrade the building to the next level. Cash, 51,471. 51K. Fuel, 144734. 144,000 in fuel. Food, 288490. 288,000 fuel. Not too bad. I'll actually probably try to upgrade this. Time, 73,872. 73 hours for this upgrade. That's a long time. Build, dim, button. As dim, so it must be my headquarters is too low. HQ is too low. Survivor, tab one, items. And it tab doesn't two, say, so either I don't have enough resources or my HQ is too, my HQ is too low. All right, but we'll get out of that. So that's it, folks. And there is one more possible thing coming to the raid submenu. Bottom of screen. My resources, shelter, selected, invasion, close, button. All right, let me let you hear that. My armory, level five, show, button, level 35 required. At level 35, we get something else, something mysterious. I'm super looking forward to it. So I'll let you all know. I will do an episode on it once I unlock it. I'm very excited about that. But hey, we're actually winning PvP battles so i'm really really happy lock, about that image, lock, image. now once you're done with your raid menu you're going to four finger tap the top of your screen my resources, cash shelter button. and double tap once you hear shelter tap s my resources shelter button so and once you hear that if you have your sounds on for that you're going to be right back to your shelter menu okay well that's it so that's it that's part one of our raider tutorial right now we're just going to go into our regular episode let's Empty out our shelter stuff. You don't want to have overflow. Headquarters. Show. Button. Refinery. Level 6 produces fuel. Fuel. 57,095. Fuel. 57,095. Empty our fuel out. Dim. Fuel. Z show. Button. Farm. Level 5 produces food. 81,700. Food. 81, food empty down. Dim. Yeah, I've been having food. a lot of Zero. trouble Dim. with food. Button. Food's been really hard to come by. I'm going to drink a little coffee here. A little LWS coffee. Mm, that's really good. Show button water clarifier. Okay, Normally water clarifier. And yes, we're gonna Image. do a little Card. grinding Credit today. Grass. We nice got ourselves a shot. nice water amount clarifier. of water. Water ninety six. Show button pawn shop level seven. Cash seventy four thousand. Let's go get our seventy four thousand money. Dim. I do believe Zero. we Dim. have Dim. gotten our library ready to go. Show button melting plant level six scraps. Oh, let's get our button. scraps scraps cleared out. Eighty eight. Dim. Show warehouse level show button. Library, level H, two hours, 15 minutes. Okay, in two hours, seconds. we're going to get to do our library and our trinket seconds. crafter. Dim. Hours, um, for now, I think seconds. our inventory is pretty clear. Let's just get over there and do some, two well, hours, just in case. I items, tattoo of Let's six. check our item tab. Backpack, 6 slash 22, backpack. Okay, our backpack seems pretty empty. 6 slash 22, rare atomic necklace rare plus Rare atomic necklace. Yes, I've just recently replaced my necklace. I'm loving my equipment. It's feeling really good. I'm going to let you hear what I got. Center of screen. Epic Apprentice Pants Plus 7. Emit. Epic has Epic. 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 Lock. Rare Apprentice. Epic. Equip. Shop. Work. Select. My, my resources. Select. Workshop. Shop. Button. Here's what I got. I'm wearing. Equip. Epic 8 Pendant Plus 3. Image. Epic 8 Pendant. Rare Apprentice Hat Plus 8. Image. Rare Apprentice Hat. Lock. Required start. Epic Apprentice Broom Plus 5. Image. Epic Apprentice Broom. As you know, I can wear Epic Gear. Check out my Epic Gear overview and preview on episode eight. Where's one armor plus five? Image. I'm trying to increase, I'm trying to get some epic armor. I'm working on it. Epic wooden bracer plus seven. We might get Image. it today. My wood bracer is epic. Not bad. This one's a pretty good little item. And of course, as you can afford it, you want to upgrade these. Epic universal ring plus six. Image. I got my new epic universal ring. It's really cool. Epic apprentice pants plus seven. Image. Epic apprentice pants. Really cool. Epic peasant shoes plus eight. And Image. I got my epic pe peasant shoes. Backpack. Let um, me let you hear my new aid pendant. Epic, epic, epic universe, epic wooden break, rare swamp armor, epic apprentice, lock, re, rare apprentice hat, epic aid pendant, equip, epic aid pendant plus Okay, three. here's my new epic aid pendant. I just recently picked this up. I've been upgrading it slowly. 
Epic. Unwieldy. Pendant. A pendant plus three. Heading. It's a plus three. Epic A pendant plus three. Image. Magic Armor 2086 plus plus zero. 2086 Magic Armor. Now remember, Magic Armor protects you from casters. You do not know if they're using magic, but just use your common sense. If you keep, if you hear a word like a sage or a wizard or sorcerer or demon, you can pretty much guess that's going to be magical damage. So that's where your magical damage protection comes in. Increase health 17.40% plus plus zero. Now, this special thing, the special thing about this gear is that this increases my health. So I've given up damage to get more health. So this is going to increase my overall health by 17%. Intelligence 370 plus plus zero. I've got a beautiful epic intelligence gem on here, including its base intelligence. So this is a sick amount of intelligence. Level 26, plus plus zero. Its item level is 26, so that's our itemization level. Unequip, button. All right, let's go ahead and jump off of that. Lock, sell, recycle, close, button. So that's our newest item, Money and I'm sources. really proud Cash. of it. I've tried to roll its stats. I was unsuccessful. Obviously, I love increases in damage. I've been, una I've been unable to get it. So remember, folks, rolling stats is really expensive. So if you can do it, great. But... Wasting too many scraps is really counterproductive. Let's get over to our one try tap to explore shelter. Tap get over to our shelter. Shelter. Oh wait, before I get that, let me tell you my. Let me let you hear my rank. One rank. Tap six of six. Rank. Number two thousand six hundred fifty. White scout image. Number mage image. Number two thousand six hundred forty nine. Nudie gaming fame. Two hundred eighty three. Two thousand six hundred forty nine. So are you up to my level? Two six four nine. That's my rank. To explore. Tab four of six. Let's get over to explore. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get a quick little vault raid. I am fighting a really pesky little monster. Let's find if we can beat it. Wastelands. Button. Loaded caravans of various shapes. Oh, let me collect my gear. caravan. For, select caravan protected. Experience. 11,515. Ooh, 11,000 experience. We're going to level, I think. Survivor. Tab one. Experience. 11,500 experience. I think experience. we're level. Ele right here. I think we're leveling right here. Reward. He experience. 11. Fame. 300. Experience. 93.97%. Okay, we had 11,000 experience and about 300 plus fame. Close. Button. Let's go close that up. My resources. I think we're in a level. No, we didn't level. Loaded caravans of various shapes and right. select reward type. Heading. Loaded caravan protection. Vaults. One. Selected. Vaults. Let's go one. jump into our vaults. We're really close to leveling. I would tell you that right now. Let's go ahead and go to uh, our vault level. We're doing the temple. Lock. Image. Lock. Image. Lock. 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 Unlock. Lock. Haunted Forge. Show. But lost temple. Forgotten lost temple. temple hiding show. Button. Let's go and show that. My yeah, we're having a little Cash. trouble. These are some pretty tough little monsters. Bottle cap. 1006. Bottle. Fight. Button. Looted. Dim. Fight. Button. Okay, but let's see how many things have looted. 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 Dim. Looted. Dim. Looted. Dim. Looted. Dim. Looted. Dim. Looted. Dim. Forgotten Pagan Temple. Okay. Darkness and more. Forgotten Pagan Temple. Hiding darkness and more. This is how many bosses we've beaten in this temple. Looted. Dim. One. Button. Looted. Dim. Two. Looted. Three, Dim. four, Dim. five. Fight. Button. So we've beaten five. We're in a six boss in the Pagan Temple. Looted. Fight. Button. Let's go get this one. Go beat this one. This one is called Gaming. Goblin Mage. the Goblin Mage. Obviously, this is going to be doing a lot of magical Image. damage. This Goblin should be right up 56. our alley. So if we can't beat this, we're just going to upgrade ourselves. Uh, suggestion to the devs, I'd love to have these battles, like, exponentiated, that'd be great. I'd love to be able to, like, hear the entire battle play out. Optionally, of course. I don't want to upset everybody else, because I just like the Minimax. Okay, we were defeated. Goblin Mage, health. New Deep Gaming, health, 0 slash 17,000 level 26. Okay, um. Goblin Mage, health, 2,646 well, we level 26. Well, we almost beat it. Level 26. Uh, we Image. almost beat Goblin it. Goblin Mage, 2 euros 56, 2,646 slash 44,098. It's got 44,000 health, folks. It's a very beefy goblin. All right, I love the goblins. Goblin, I love you. All right, so we almost, um, and you know, if you know me, I love goblins. So, um, I'm not hating them on my, my non-binary brother, sister, Mister, I am like all loving on that goblin. They got me. They beat me fair and square in a fair duel. All right, let us go ahead and jump out of this and get our wasteland done. Defeat heading. Defeat New Deep Gaming Goblin Mage close button. Close it up. Let's get our wasteland my action done. My resources wasteland caravan wastelands. Okay, now that we're in a wasteland, let's go ahead and go to. We're doing the um, the desert. 
Lock. It, lock. Show. Dry wastelands full of all to sorts of debris. Dry wastelands full of all kinds of debris. Nice. Show. Button. Lock. Image. Show. Button. All right. We're on district Body number two. One hundred twenty-four thousand seven hundred ninety-four bottle auto dim. In the uh, in the desert. Auto dim. But water ten. District two progress. Water ten. District two progress. Ninety-seven slash three hundred twenty-six. Ninety-seven out of three twenty-six. Yeah, we'll hit, we'll knock out a good maybe forty-six. Forty-six tries. Water ten. Dim. Auto dim. Let's let that Button. auto. Auto dim. And then we'll just chit chat and drink some coffee while it auto. Okay. Why why do you why didn't you auto? Lock. Image. Auto. Dim. Button. Oh wait, did we not get our water back? My resources. Cash. One hundred character words. I thought I had my water. Lines. My resources. Cash. Bottle cap. One thousand water. Nine slash three hundred sixty nine. Oh, we don't have our water back. Okay, that's not not a big problem. Uh, when is it coming back? Water recovery. Two hours seven minutes eighteen. Oh. Bottle. Logo other. Wheel. I should have waited two more hours before I did this episode. Okay, well let's just go ahead and well we spent a lot of this episode doing tutorials, so it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and empty out our. Shelter. Tab three of six. Shelter Image. water. Farm. Selected. Shelter. One explore. One explore. One tribe. Tap. One rank. Tap. Farm. Level five. Food. Show. Water clarifier. Level eight. Water. Ninety six. Button. Good. Water. We're going to get to do nine Ten. tries. Water. Zero. Ten tries, Ten. actually. Button. So we emptied out our water clarifier. One tribe. Tab five. One explore. Selected. One explore. So at least we're going to empty. Well, at least we're going to get some tries here. Lock. In. Lock. Lock. Show. Dry wastelands. Full. Show. Lock. Try wastelands. Let's My at least resources. get a couple Cash. tries one. in there. Lock. Image. You know, one of the problems I have is I'm always overflowing on my water clarifier. Lock. Image. Lock. Which Image. isn't good. Auto. Water. 10. District 2. Proc. Water. 10. Auto. Button. Let's go ahead and auto, auto. that. So we're going to auto about 9, 10 times here. So just let it roll. It'll make a little sound when it's done. Of course, it'd be great if we had a little sound effect so we can kind of like keep track of the progress. That'd be my uh, continual, wonderfully humble suggestion to the devs. Love your game. Love to have more sounds. In the background, you hear my noise. It's uh, Flying Fortress playing in the background. All right, uh, we did good. Let's go find out if we got anything. Mind you folks, I have common, uncommon, and rare all being converted into scraps because I really don't need anything but epic right now. Items, tattoo of six. All right, let's go find out if we got anything. Epic tiny intelligence gem. Rare atomic necklace plus nine. Seven slip backpack. Epic peasant shoes plus eight. Epic apprentice pants plus seven. Epic universal ring plus epic epic pet backpack. Seven slash twenty two. I think we got one item. Rare atomic necklace plus nine. Image. Epic tiny intelligence gem. Rare small intelligence gem. Excuse Image. me. Uncommon shiny intelligence gem. Rare tiny intelligence gem. Epic tiny agility gem. Im epic apprentice pants. Image. Epic apprentice pants. Actually, we might need that. Chests. Epic apprentice pants. Image. Let's find out if we need this. Epic. Unwieldy. Pants. Apprentice pants. Heading. Unwieldy brand. Epic apprentice pants. Image. Armor 801. Plus minus 521. Ooh. Well, that's a lot of upgrading to get this. Is it at least intelligence? Endurance 0. Plus minus 221. Oh, it's... Uh, luck 61. Plus plus 61. I don't want luck. Luck's not anything that's really helping me out. I had a lot of promise when it came to luck because i love that ideal being able to hit twice but uh and also to have a better chance of critting but i found that luck is an extremely hard attribute to build up so yeah i'm not impressed i get more bang for my buck out of intelligence level 25 plus plus equip lock but sell cash recycle scraps 65. let's go ahead and recycle but, that recycle, get our 65 scraps, 65. scraps out of that Recy yes button yeah confirm that all but right we didn't really cash. get anything great oh but we did get a gym cool Epic, tiny endurance gem. Oh, we got a nice epic and tiny endurance gem, which is really cool. So whenever ever we do a little grinding off camera, we're going to take all these gems and combine them. And yes, I do know exactly how to do the gem combining. So here's how it goes. If you combine two gems, which I call physical gems, like if you combine gems like endurance and strength together, you get what I call more of the caster type gems like luck and intelligence. But if you combine caster type gems, gems like you combine things like luck and intelligence together you'll get the physical gems together like you'll get you'll create things like the strength and endurance gem so be careful you don't ever want to combine the gem you want with another gem because you could lose the gem you want also if you really want to increase the level of the gem that you're in, you want to build up increase it with the same kind of gem the chance of it upgrading its strength is very low but at least you won't lose the gem that you like 
So that's the little trick. Uh, I might throw a guide out on my Facebook page, a complete like printout of kind of like all the kind of things that happen when you increase and combine gems. But that's my hard and fast little quick tutorial about gems. Definitely do not lose gems that are near top level. And another big little pro tip is if you're rolling stats, by the way, rolling means randomizing. It means your RNGs as you're praying to RNGs. So be careful when you're rolling stats. You could get the same stat, you might get a better stat, you might get a worse stat. So be careful with that. Be very cautious when expending a great deal of scraps. Those scraps are really hard to come by. And let me tell you something. I'm at the point that I have to farm quite a bit to just get any upgrade done. All right. Um, let us close this. Epic Tiny Endurance 100, level 23. Lock. Sell. Recycle. Close. Button. All right. Cool. All right. Resources, so we're done cash, with that. We're pretty much knocking everything cash, out here. And yes, I did wind up taking down all my badges. My badges were able to increase my levels quite a bit. I'm still having a little trouble with that vault. That goblin mage is really tough. So much respect. Um, I will have to beat it though. Let's go with. Survivor. Tab one of Let's six. check our survivor tab. I just want to again throw out to the devs that your quest tab is broken and it, I haven't been able to deselect this quest. Attributes. Uh, our attributes are looking pretty good. Attributes. I will probably do 10 upgrades to my intelligence sometime later today. Two hour plus 10%, zero slash five. Uh, there's a special event. I do believe attributes are giving you bonuses. So uh, names for these events would be great. Please, if we can put names, um, dev suggestion number five. If you could please put names for these really cool little events that jump up. Anything like special upgrade day for attributes or, hey, 10% bonus to attribute increases. Uh, just anything. If you could just throw a bunny face or a little rat, you could throw something there, a little, a little roachy, anything. Just something that fits with the theme of your game so we know that there's a special event occurring. That'd be awesome. Attack other survive quest. Attack other survivors. Zero slash five. Yeah, we haven't been able to defeat any other survivors, so we're stuck on this quest because we cannot remove it. Attack other survivor. Attack other survive quest. Journal. Button. Private messages. But experience. Ninety six point twenty three percent. Yeah, we almost we got six experience from or five to six experience from that huge amount of eleven thousand experience points from our caravan trip so we are so close to level 20 what is it, level 27 level 26 we're so close to level 27 folks so close mage 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 moody gaming settings button settings button. okay we got everything done i think we pretty much got everything done it really isn't much else for us to do again we're running out of things to do and another two hours, I'm just going to go through all of my water. More water bottles. Being able to buy water bottles would be great. Um, I'm like really having trouble having the opportunity to get more adventuring done. I would really love more chances to do more adventuring. That would be fantastic. But that's going to be it for us today, folks. We I hope you enjoyed this little raid tutorial. And I threw in a nice little gym combination tutorial. I might even be persuaded to throw a little badge tutorial in. So if you are taking advantage of badges, they're great because it does raise your attributes quite a bit. Don't forget every day pro tips. You want to increase your attributes of your primary attributes. Look and listen to the numbers that show you how much, how much stronger that you're getting. If you're having trouble beating vault creatures, you're definitely going to want to improve your attributes. Upgrade your equipment if you're having trouble beating vault monsters and gym the appropriate gym. If you're gymming nothing but endurance, yes, you're going to be harder to kill, but you're also going to have lower attack power. So you definitely want to work on increasing your damage. However, survivability is also important as always. Again, so that's it for us today, folks. We're going to maybe come back next Sunday with episode 10 of lost vault i'm not sure i don't know if i have enough content to really do episode 10 it might mean that i might need to wait to maybe the end of the month maybe unless there's a brand new update that drops that's going to be it for us so maybe one more episode i'm trying to upgrade my armory and i'll be able to show you all maybe some of my troops 
like wielding some rare equipment. I'm really excited about showing off rare equipment. I'm really eager to show you all that I've beaten another player in some PvP. I'm also very eager to show you all that I've got all epic equipment on all my characters. There are some really cool things that you can unlock in Lost Vault when you get to the end of the game. I heard they've added a talent build system. There's something you get at level 50. I'm not sure what it is. There's something you get at level 35. I'm not sure what that is. And as always, like, share, subscribe, comment, please. If you have really cool tips you want to offer to our community, please leave them in the comments. Direct them toward the community. And if you like what I do here, please it does a great deal of good when you like these videos and you share them, when you subscribe and put your notifications on all. Thank you all very much for that. I appreciate you spending your time with me. It is very much appreciated. Love you very much. And as I always say, you don't need to read a bunch of fancy books. You don't need to be a genius to know that loving yourself is truly one of the most important things you can do in your life. And also loving others is truly important. It truly makes our world a safer, better place. And of course, to your Uber driver, to your parents, to your friends, to your loved ones, to your kids, your dog, your cat, your rat, your mouse, whatever, be kind. Always people, please be kind as much as possible. And I will hear you on the caravan trail with our trusty blue bird flying along and hopefully we'll be able to raid the vaults and find some more mysterious treasures and maybe beat that goblin mage that's been giving us so much trouble you know all right folks take care i found that you can sometimes activate up to two caravans in a day that's 12 hours so each caravan takes a certain amount of time. It's six hours plus. Now, when you're on a caravan, you can't do any other exploration. So be aware of that. If you get the water clarifier, you get extra water. But remember, be cautious of overflow. The close buttons are working great. They are rock solid. They are clean. They are perfect. There is no problem with the close buttons. I, I know you may have better ways for me to play. That doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to play that way. I love you, but I want to play the game the way I want to play the game. As a, a very cool way of getting achievements. So I don't try to tell a dev what to do with their baby. I wouldn't want anybody telling me what to do with my baby. When you hear the minimum, the minimum refers to your attributes. If your attributes are too low, you can't equip the item. Oh, we've unlocked Toxic Swamp. Giant Mouse, that's 19, 16, not even level a three. monster. Image. We'll fight some pig butts. We'll have some really cool fun. Thank you so much for helping me. I cannot do this all by myself. It's so much work. Look at all my land. And you are such a kind, kind gentleman. Any friends who might want to help you? Hi. What are you doing here? Uh, he's gonna be picking pumpkins and earning a little money and I yes help yourself kids These are... I was wondering what I smell so good up in your kitchen. I mean you're a cool lady. Come join me, dude I got a leg. Uh Yeah, where the Sun rises Over the sky. Oh, I have no problem with mobility. I'm down bro. He turns everything into a workout. He certainly does. You might need this nice place out here. Hello? Hello? What was that? Dude! Lucy, get back! Choice of Rebels. The developer, Choices LLC, is a very well-known developer. I've done a previous game of Choices LLCs, which was called Choice of Dragons. So I'm here to completely support developers who make games for people who are blind, visually impaired, visually diverse, as I like to say in the channel sometimes. That is what I'm here to do. I'm here to support the community. I'm here to provide resources when it comes to games for the community, really high ratings, and leaving really constructive reviews. And another valuable thing about games that are accessible to the blind and visually impaired, visually diverse, is that these games help developers who are continuing to make games like this for people in our community. By supporting them, we are supporting future titles of these types. So 
you definitely don't want to be shy about supporting games like this. The price of this game is $6.99. It is definitely worth it. The accessibility so far that I've gone through with the menus is top-notch. It's superb. It's clean. It's very nice. The vocals are definitely great when working with your voiceover. The swiping and the voiceover controls are precise and clean. No lags, no bug. I really love this kind of game. This is my cup of tea. Smash the Gangs, a brand new game for the channel to be fully accessible. Mind you, all of my reviews are done as a person 100% blind. I'm not going to be reviewing any graphic elements, but what really gets you AAA across the board is accessibility with voiceover. The games I review are for iOS only. So this is a deck builder. So little roguelike deck builder RPG kind of business. Uh, it's almost like a side scroller, third person shooter a little bit. So deck like builder. So a lot of indie kind of genres built into this game. Scores, button, reset all progress, button. Okay, there Discard we go. All the progress. Let's go ahead and four finger tap top of the screen. Close window, button. Great, uh, four finger tap top and bottom works. Let's, music came up, like the sound effects. I love the Wild West theme. Close, Let's go five. fight with Mission. no supplies. Fight with no, lion cluster, zero. How do you do? Oh. Alert, smash gangs would like to find, it's a lovely day in chili pepper. Okay. Fighter on lane two is KO. Zero go. I'm punching. Change lane one. Smash panel. Lane two. B. Life 59 versus Rio. Life 64. No. Change lane two. No. Attack. Oh boy. Rio throws horseshoes. I threw horse. Somebody lane threw one. horseshoes. Attack. You don't throw horseshoes at me, dude. No. Okay. Attack. Give me more information on my first few fights. And I love your sounds, they're so gorgeous. I love it. Go pick up Smash the Games.